So this time around, we want to use a CSS framework. And I'm going to use Bootstrap just because I'm really familiar with it, and I like it a lot. But before we do that, let's give ourselves some place to play with some content. So I'm looking at my index.js file right now, and what I'm going to do is create another component. And this one is going to be called App Content. Okay? So what I'll do first of all is in my source folder, I'll create a new file, which I'll call App Content. Js. So let's import React and we'll import a component from React and give it its semicolon. And now we'll export default class and we'll call it app content and it extends component. And as always, we have to have a render function. And it will just return, and I'll use parentheses, and close this off so I don't forget. And we'll just return some HTML. This is the content. OK, so I've created that. Now I'll import it in my index.js. import app content from dot slash app content. And down here between the or after the header, I'll simply put in my app content. OK, so if we save this and go back to our web browser and reload this, we have the content showing up there. And this gives us a place to play with some bootstrap. Now there's a couple of ways of installing Bootstrap. I could, if I wanted to, go to my index.html and just add the link to Bootstrap right here in the head section. So I would go back to my web browser, open up a new tab, and say go to getbootstrap.com, click on getting started, and copy the CSS from right here, and paste it into the head of my document. And that would work. But the way it's conventionally done in most applications that depend on npm is simply to use npm. npm install bootstrap. And it will go and get it and install it for us. And then we have it available to us. OK, so now it's available to us, but we need to import it. So I'm going to go back to my index.js. And at the very top, just like I'm importing index.css, I can also import, and I'll put it right here import and then the path name to the CSS for bootstrap and I'm importing it from bootstrap slash dist slash CSS slash bootstrap dot min dot CSS and if I save that and hide this and go back to say our app content let's put something in here okay so let's add a button and I'll add it right here I'll put a BR in, and remember I have to close it like that because every tag has to have a close of some sort since this is XML, and I'll just put a button in. Button class equals button button primary, and I'll give it an empty href just so we can make sure the bootstrap is actually working, and some text, my button. And if I save that, and switch back to my web browser and get to the correct tab and reload this, there's my button. So it doesn't do anything right now, but I've actually added some styling using Bootstrap. And that is the way that I always include Bootstrap in my uh, React applications. Now, if you're more comfortable just putting it into the head of your HTML file, feel free to do so, but this is the way that it's conventionally done. So now we have several components, and we can style them either using our own styles, or we can style them using Bootstrap or any CSS framework that you choose to include. All right, let's move on to doing a few more interesting things with React.